Hey guys, my name is Steven and I'm here at a gibbon sanctuary in Thailand with Go Eco. Now if you enjoy doing wildlife or animal volunteering, this may be the project for you because we're going to show you exactly what you get up to if you decide to volunteer here. This is all the animals currently at the farm, so 69 gibbons, 21 macaws, one jackal, a binturong and a bear and someone from Despicable Me. We whipped out one of our big purple shaped ones. <laughs> and like, what what is they have those in. Get to give them our bananas. I guess it wouldn't be a, a monkey sanctuary without bananas. I feel like they woke themselves up. They're like, I'm stronger, I'm stronger, I'm stronger, and then they get overexcited. <laughs> so here at the Gibbon Sanctuary, you do actually have a routine. So your task in the morning is to prepare the food, then feed the gibbons. And then after they've eaten, because they can be quite messy eaters, because they are monkeys, you then go in and you clean out their enclosures. He's sad because he wants the attention. Chester, this one, this gibbon, he's the oldest gibbon here. So he was the first gibbon that came to the sanctuary. He's as old as us. He's as old as us, he's 26. So the sanctuary started in 1991 and he was the first given Chester. But my favorite one is Jerry. He was actually a pet and he got kicked by his owner and so he got a broken back but it's made him look really, really short and stubby. Hey, hey Jerry. pretty much their concoction of fruit and veggies. There's got to be like seven, maybe seven or six or seven different things. Yeah, it's, very it's, a it's a very healthy breakfast. And they can just grab it all. <laughs> hey buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I can't wait for it to go. Oh, I got both bananas. <laughs> <laughs> and in the morning they wake us up like a rooster but anyway most of the so there's about what just so just under 70 gibbons here most of them were pets so there's a big issue in Thailand where they want to keep gibbons and monkeys and apes as pets but the issue is that they're nice and cute and cuddly and friendly when they're little <laughs> but once they hit sexual maturity they start to bite they start to be really really noisy and the owners don't want them anymore which means they start getting like put into little tiny cages and stuff and the owners here are amazing for 25 years they've been saving these gibbons that haven't been getting looked after bring them here they've also been given like baby monkeys that have fallen out of trees so there's a couple here that might be paralyzed some that are missing limbs just from being injured in the wild and they come here to live at the sanctuary all right now that everyone's been fed we have to clean up everything and then get ready for lunch. <laughs> Alrighty, so after breakfast, we are now going down to the enclosures to clean them all. So, Monkeys are messy. <laughs> well, as you saw, they like to throw their food around, so there's always a lot to clean up. It's mine. <laughs> I 
like they didn't give him his favourite treat. <laughs> He's like, where's the fruit? At dinner time they get more vegetables. And I think they're looking for their bananas. <laughs> this is what we come out to eat every day and for lunch today... We're getting a bit of a treat. We're having some pad thai. Here we go. Oh, this looks good. Mm -hmm. You are? So I thought I'd show you guys the volunteer recreation room. Sorry, the Gibbons has been super noisy. But if you'd like, there are two hammocks here and they've created almost like a network for the Gibbons to go to their other enclosures. And you can kind of sit here, relax and watch them, just watch them hang out. Uh, and then we've got a chill room outside here. And then this is the rec room. So you can relax in here. Or you can chill here, read a book. There's also like a TV and a couch. And you wouldn't believe what's in here. All of these are movies. So if you ever get bored, you can uh, you can go nuts in here. Also, this is outside of the volunteer house, which is really cool because we have a balcony. And we're above the rec room and you have a view of the entire property, including this little cheeky guy. So this is the volunteer accommodation. So this is pretty much where we're staying. This is our room just here. So they can take up to eight volunteers at a time. We've got bed here, relaxing here, and another bed here as well. You've got your fans and a cupboard for you to um, put all your clothes away. There's also a volunteer kitchen, so if you wanted to put anything into the fridge, if you want to cool any drinks, or if you wanted to make yourself any coffee, heat up some, I don't know, some snacks. Yeah, they got everything here. But I just love how this is pretty much living in a treehouse. It's really cute. Alrighty guys, I think we're going to end the video here. If you guys are interested in volunteering here at the Gibbon Sanctuary, make sure you check out goeco.org for more information. See ya!